What's up guys, Parker here. I have a really fun video today showing you how to take the maximum value of multiple columns or measures. This is really easy to set up, but can be a little bit tricky if you don't know the methodology. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. As you can see, I have a combo chart and this combo chart is made up of four column values and then a single line value that is the max value of those four columns. So I have three columns and one measure actually. So this can be done with columns or measures but I'm gonna show you how to set it up in one easy to create measure. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new page and I'm gonna create that combo chart. I'm gonna throw in my uh, three columns. So I have revenue, last year revenue and budget and the date dimension. So we have three columns. And finally, I'm gonna throw in my measure as well. So here are our four columns again. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slice by date because I want a little bit smaller of a date range to make everything easier to see. Okay, and let's go ahead and set up that single measure that will allow us to take the maximum value. Uh, so I'm gonna create a new measure called max value demo. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna create a virtual table that uh, is basically made up of a single column table of our values uh, that make up our three columns and measure. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna name our table, uh, we'll call this value table. And we're gonna use the union function to union multiple rows we're gonna name the column uh, of our data, we're gonna call that value. And we're gonna pass in each column or measure reference. So we can take the sum of our revenue and we're gonna enter in a new row. That column is still called value. And take the sum of our last year revenue and we're basically gonna do this for the other two as well. So row, our column is called value. And we're gonna take, lastly, for the columns, the sum of the budget. And then finally, our last row, also called value, is just gonna take our measure. So you can just throw in this is a measure without an aggregation. So close off row, close off union. And that's all we have to do with one more step uh, in our return, but before we do that, I wanna show you what this is actually doing. So if that didn't quite make sense to you, let's go ahead and create a new table. And we can throw in, I'm gonna call this temp table. And we can throw in our code, we actually just wrote into our measure just to make sure we know what's going on here. So it's unioning multiple single rows with a certain column name and a certain value. So if we look at our temp table, this is what it looks like. So it's a single column table called value because that's what we specified the column name as. And certain metrics based on our sum of revenue, which will be this top one, sum of last year revenue, sum of budget, and our measure as well. So in our, uh, in our measure, it's going through the exact same steps, but only looking at the, uh, the current month in the division of our chart. So let's go back to our max value demo and finish that up. So lastly, all we have to do under the return is type in max X so that we can iterate over our table variable called value table and basically take the max of our column called value. And that's all we have to do. So once we go ahead and throw this into line values, we get a line that looks like that. It's a little bit hard to understand since it kind of centers towards the you know, center of these four bars. So we can go to the formatting and I think it looks easiest if you go to shapes and then stepped. So now it's kind of just kind of stepped over the four bars. And finally, make the stroke width a little bit bigger, makes it a little bit easier to comprehend. So that's pretty much all you have to do. You can also do minimum just as easily just by typing in min X instead of max X in case you want to see just the minimum. But I think max X makes the most sense in most cases, because for the most part, I think you'll have to uh, take the maximum of multiple values as a pretty standard request. 
but this is how you do it. So you can do it with as many values as you want. It's not limited to any number of columns or measures, so, or it can be only columns or only measures, so it's very flexible. So I hope you like this trick. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.